that the Mekong River was symbolic of the connectedness they had with one another, their shared experiences of life before, during, and after the Vietnam War. Like the changing currents of the Mekong, the lives of their parents and families also changed with the passage of time. A change in the color of the Mekong in various segments of the mural reflects the change in the color of the lives of the families touched by war, loss, death, separation, and displacement from Muen's homeland. Above the river here are various parts of a Hmong village, and then a dragon appears which forebodes the beginning of political anarchy. What follow are scenes showing the strife of living in Laos or Cambodia, where countless thousands of brave militia died and innocent civilians, including many women and children, were murdered. Their carnage is illustrated here. Also, just beyond the river, communist forces are firing on fleeing civilians. Children are hiding in the forest. Some have been caught. The scene is terrifying. Soldiers are everywhere and represent the new culture of persecution. The Buddha and Triphase Elephant, which follow, are reminiscent of more peaceful days and also indicate faith and hope for a future good life after reaching refugee camps in Thailand. However, next to these symbolisms are guards and a guard dog who emphasize the prison-like environment that actually existed in the so-called indoctrination camps of Laos, where many surviving civilians were interned. The gazebo-like structure close by is a Laotian religious shrine, and it again illustrates the importance of religious faith for survival. Even worse, before they could reach Thailand from Laos, many Hmong and other Laotian refugees were forced to flee across the Mekong River using whatever flotation devices they could muster. Many perished in the attempt because of hostile gunfire or by drowning. Those that succeeded found a tough sanctuary in Thailand where they endured harsh living conditions for many months and often for years before being resettled in a third country. The Thai flag is prominently displayed in one of these camps where teaching was done in the Thai language and where long-term residents could become literate. However, the crowding and hot tropical weather favored development of disease. Children under 12 suffered the most. After being accepted for resettlement in the USA, Families were moved by buses to more suitable transitional camps where most would stay a minimum of six months. In the camps, English was taught, American cultural orientation was provided, and the health status of each, particularly with regard to infectious diseases, was evaluated and stabilized. In the foreground of one relocation camp is a segment of mural showing a man carrying water to symbolize the importance of this substance for survival. The two colorful children in the foreground are Hmong. Laotian family members then appear. A dragon and temple which follow forebode further dangers but are also hopeful cultural reminders. It is now time to travel to the United States. Precariously crowding a small ship are the boat people of Vietnam. Conditions in the southern portion of Vietnam worsened in the late 1970s, and there was also a drive by the new government to rid the country of many of its farmers, fishermen, merchants, and their families. As a result, thousands sought to escape and took to boats. Perhaps half perished at sea. Successful ones initially reached refugee camps throughout Southeast Asia, where they endured hardships and uncertain futures for months, often for years, before being allowed to immigrate to the United States or other concerned countries. On the other hand, planes seen in the skies above are carrying many other refugees across the Pacific Ocean from transitional camps in Thailand. In this example, after a long flight in September of 1986, a refugee family has just set foot on the American soil in Fresno, California. The family is walking into a new life with many perils to follow. Micah Yang, one of the children in this family group, is now a full-time administrative assistant at Stone Soup Fresno. 
She was one of the painters of this mural. Next, there is a portrayal of different buildings in downtown Fresno. The depiction is not accurate, but is an attempt to illustrate important recollections of the refugees, many of whom had never seen tall buildings before their arrival. The historic round water tower, which is actually at the corner of Fresno and M Streets, is on the left, whereas a fanciful street sign indicating the corner of Tulare and Cedar is also clearly visible on your left. An Armenian church is seen in the foreground, and there is even a McDonald's sign on the right. Above this sign is a bubble with someone's dream to live in, perhaps to own a house with trees someday. Children in their new American attire are part of a street scene that follows. Next are people and an apartment building which signify a new lifestyle for the refugees. An illusion of prosperity is the presence of a Toyota Celica. There are usually school-aged children accompanying one family, but traditional large extended family groups living together are not permitted, and the result is a frustrating disruption of the traditional Asian learning hierarchy. Modern toilets, bathtubs, cold weather heating, food items, microwaves, refrigerators, and cafeteria food are new experiences. The bubble above at the end of the apartment complex serves as a wish list, perhaps for better working appliances, which in a sense is linked to the desire for better living conditions in which one can create a home for his or her family and create a better life. In another sense, it may also signify a perception of the relative poverty in which new refugees are forced to live in because they lack English language and employment skills. Retention of culture is important for many of the new Americans. Also important is the cross-cultural sharing that occurs, as in this serene setting where Korean dancers from a Korean Christian church in Fresno perform in their native dress. Christian symbolisms are portrayed above their heads. The six young adults who follow represent the Bridges High School Youth Group, an effort by Stone Soup Fresno to promote leadership development for at-risk youth. Many social and religious organizations have supported this concept as an effective means of teaching youngsters how to become stable and productive members in an adult world. The refugee children at Stone Soup, as pictured here, are no exception. Next, we see a mural portrayal of some of the programs sponsored by Stone Soup Fresno. These include teaching children to cook a nutrition class in the first frame, developing reading and academic skills in the second, and receiving adequate dental care in the third. Medical evaluations and treatment are also provided. Families are encouraged to participate. A segment of the mural follows which is symbolic of the money, photos, and gift packages which the refugee families in the United States send back home. Next, five costume people are in a family portrait sent from Laos or Thailand to a relative in the United States. The family members are in traditional Hmong costumes, with the exception of the women in the middle of the grouping of three. Following this portrait are figurative skull and bone reminders of the hundreds of thousands that perished and also warning signs of the ever-present landmines that killed or continue to maim and kill many more. These were laid everywhere in the killing fields of Cambodia. The countryside was littered with them and it is generally accepted that after 1979 more than 40,000 Cambodians suffered amputations as the result of landmine injuries. Although many have been removed, locating all of them in Cambodia and many other Southeast Asian countries in which they exist will take decades. Then, next to the warning signs, are a Hmong man and a large dog standing in front of a village. They are symbolic of a simple but still perilous existence. The first person in this next grouping, holding harvested rice, is a figurative contemplation of farming life back in the home country. Next, a woman and pot-bellied child in gray color are a reflection on a past life filled with struggle, poverty, and malnutrition. Other reminders of past turbulence are graphically represented. Note the submarine and surface military craft. 
A refugee youth with special artistic skills drew this segment. The hand with the wrench, which is adjacent, is symbolic of a job prospect. More symbolic images depict economic opportunities that await a group of healthy-appearing Asian individuals as they become part of an American tapestry. A stable home, education, good health, and professional opportunities are dreams becoming fulfilled. The countenances of the refugees here are happy and enthusiastic. There is obvious personal satisfaction. Finally, a Buddha prays for continued success as the formal portion of this refugee mural ends. Since you have already seen the self-portraits of the mural artists which follow, our discussion of the Asian refugee topic at Stone Soup Fresno can now be concluded.